Hey there marketing fans, welcome along to another video from me James Gladwell here at Adventures in Internet Marketing. Now in this episode I want to share with you something very cool which is going to enable you to speed up your site even more. That's sort of been the theme of the videos that I've made over the past few days. I've been talking about how to increase the speed of your website and if you haven't seen sort of part one and part two if you like then go ahead and check those out on the channel now and then obviously come back and apply this one as well because uh, all together they're a pretty cool uh, set of tools that you can add to your, your arsenal really on Online, which will allow you to again increase the speed of your website make it much quicker for you make it much quicker for your readers much more importantly and obviously it means that you can increase your conversion rates as a result you can also apply this to any WordPress site okay so all those videos apply to any WordPress site whether it's a sales site or a blog or whatever uh, that will help you now the thing that you'll notice on my site is that there's lots of images okay now obviously that's a great thing to have lots of images because you know an image can tell a thousand words etc etc however it's also a bit of a problem when it comes to actually serving up those images when somebody visits your site because what happens is that the images have to be in my case at least have to be taken from the blog posts where they are currently kind of residing if you like and they have to be displayed on the front page. Now it takes a while for all of those images to load so I want the images to be as optimized as possible and hopefully as small as possible as well. Now I say hopefully because that's what most people tend to do. They tend to sort of hope that it will work and what they do is they just upload any old image. The thing is every time you upload an image you could be damaging your own site okay because if you look down here you can see as I say I serve up an awful lot of images on that front page because it helps to show people exactly uh, what it is that you know that particular post is about which is great but like I say if I was uploading really really large files then I'd be damaging the speed at which my site loaded and of course then damaging the relationship that I'm building with my readers so again this is something you need to go ahead and refer to uh, and, and make sure you actually apply now what I did was I found a plugin and if you look down here this is the plugin called WP Smush It. Now WP Smush It is a very cool uh, plugin which allows you to make use of a system which has been set up by Yahoo. Uh, it's Yahoo Smush It as you might suspect. Uh, this is what it looks like right here. In fact this is the home page of it right here. And what Smush It basically does is it allows you to optimize your images on your site. Now this is fantastic because it means it can reduce the images. I've had images on my site reduced by up to 20, uh, even 25%. So, you know, a big saving in terms of the space and of course that means it loads a lot faster. So that's the home page. What you can do on Smush It, just to show you, is you can go ahead and upload files that you want to be smushed and then you can go and use them on your site. You can also go and actually put in the URL of a page and it will go and find all the images on that page and then it will put them through the Smush It system which of course makes them smaller and more manageable and then it will go ahead and uh, give, you uh, give you back those files and you can go and put them on your site. Now the issue with all of that is it takes quite a lot of time so the plugin kind of does all this for you. What it does is it uploads the images to the Smush It network and then it goes ahead and changes them, you know, makes them more, uh, makes them kind of load quicker and then of course it brings them back and puts the new versions on your site. So it's awesome. So what you can do is go into your media library. Once you've installed the plugin and actually activated it, you'll notice that on your media library down the right hand side, there is now this smush it column. So underneath, you know, next to all of the, the images that you've got, underneath where it says smush it, it shows you how much it's reduced those plugin, those um those images I should say by. Now the issue, of course, is that if you've got lots of images on your site already, then it's going to take an awfully long time for you to actually smush all those images. There is a, a bulk smush it feature, but I'd advise you that you don't use it, okay? At least don't use it in the way that it's intended to be used. I'll show you what I mean by that. Underneath where it says media, I can go to where it says bulk smush it. What it will do is it will load up a page which allows me to smush all of the files all at once. Now, in my case, I've got 100 and, uh, yeah, 195 images in my media library right now, which according to this will take 9.75 minutes. Now, okay, I could wait 9.75 minutes. The problem is, this is a new version of this plugin, and the plugin hasn't been updated for quite a long time uh, prior to this update. As a result of that, what's happened is that when it starts to you know, try and smush that many images, it has a bit of a problem, and it tends to time out. So as a result, it only really actually smushes four or five images, and then it gets errors on all the other images. So really, you're wasting your time if you do it that way. So I'd advise you not to come in here and click on where it says, you know, run all my images through WP Smush It right now don't click on that because it takes far too long and to be honest it doesn't really work very well however there is a way around it 
if you go into your library, like I say, uh, and down that right hand side, like I say, there is that WP smush it column where you can run each image individually through the smush it process. Now, in this case, what you'll find is there's a link underneath here where it says smush it or smush it now or something like that. You can click on each one of those and go through each image individually, but again, for me, that would waste a lot of time because I had 190 something images. So here's what you do. Go over to the left-hand side and click on this column, uh, on that little checkbox, which will check all of the images all the way down. So now all of those images are checked all the way down the left-hand side. You see that? Now, once you've done that, you can go up to the Bulk Actions menu, and where it says Bulk Smush It, click on that, and then click Apply. What that will do is it will only smush the images that are on this page, of which I think there are, what, 20 or so? So... As a result of that, you can go ahead and smush just 20 images at a time, and that will mean that it will go through and it will happen successfully. And you'll see that, as I say, down the right-hand side, I've made savings of, you know, up to, in this case, up to 20%, but I've had on other pages up to 25% savings on some of the images that I've, uh, that I've, you know, had on my site, which, of course, means that the site loads an awful lot faster. The cool thing as well about the WP Smush It plugin is that it actually also allows you to, um, you know, automatically smush anything that gets loaded up onto your site from now on. So any image that you load up will automatically get put through the smush it uh, process and if of course uh, you know if it makes a mistake or any time it doesn't work you can always just come into the media library and just smush that individual image to make it run that much faster on your site so it's a great little addition and has meant that I've been able to get the time in which my site loads now down to in this case down to less than two seconds which is pretty cool. Um, the first time the site loads, it loads a bit a bit slower because it's the first time it's loaded. But after that, you know, people coming back to the site again and again will notice the site runs very very quickly now. So go ahead and uh, check that out. That's the WP Smush It uh, plugin, which you can go ahead and find just by going into your plugins menu and obviously make sure you click on Add New and then just look for WP Smush Dot It. That's what you're looking for. So as always, make sure you subscribe for the latest tips, tools, and news from the world of online marketing. As always, I've been James and I'll be here. With with you again very soon with another update. Thanks ever so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll speak to you again very soon.